All right, guys. So I just got here to the container store. I don't know if you guys can see. You can't. Uh, anywho, I'm at the container store. I'm about to run in here, grab the items that I need to finish my little project. And then we're going to go pick stuff up from school. So, yeah. Also, while I was at the nail salon, two of you guys saw me getting my nails done when you were walking past. It's so funny because literally, like, two of you back to back walked past and looked in and saw, and it was like a double take. Like, you looked, you saw me, and then you came back and was like, uh, I watch your YouTube. And so it was so nice seeing you guys. Love running into you guys here, especially with me being, you know, new here. It's always like, oh, Wow, people in Chicago watch my vlogs um, so that was really cool so hi um, one lady I didn't even get to wave because my hands were my nail tech was painting one hand and my other hand was in the little like UV light thing so I couldn't wave but I was like trying to wave with my smile so I'm waving to you now it was so good seeing both of you ladies um, but anywho I'm about to run in here PJ's home with his dad it worked out great because as soon as my nail appointment was done PK was back at the house so I was able to drop PJ off hop in the car and head over here to do this I'm also gonna go in the world market to get some sugar-free syrup because I am running low and I don't know I'll browse around in there and look and see what they have I'm tempted to go in crate and barrel but I don't need nothing in there I don't need anything from crate and barrel or CB2 so we're not going in there it's very tempting but I'm not going so let's head in here and see if we can find these containers that I need to finish and finish up with the rest of our day um, I did go into Nordstrom and picked up a new makeup item that I'm wearing right now um, and I really like it so I'll share that with you guys when we get back home it's bronzer if you're wondering <laughs> um, but yeah okay let's go Alright y'all, back in the car. I don't know what's going on with my camera. And just left at our world market. I just got sugar-free vanilla syrup. And then I picked up one of Sefton's favorite little carbonated little fun drinks. Uh, because I know he really likes these and he doesn't get to come here with me often, but every time we come here, he gets one. <laughs> He's only gotten two, but he really likes them. So I got him the lychee lychee flavor. So now we are headed to pick him up. I got what I needed from the container. All right, y'all, I am back home now. I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the container store. All right, so 
this Astage organizing little drawer system. I guess that's what you call it, system. But anywho, it is just a frosted plastic bin, but it has a pull-out drawer. Now, when I was trying to come up with a good organizational system for underneath this sink, I instantly thought about doing drawers that were stackable. However, I did not want drawers that were like clear, like those plasticky clear ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I also didn't want to do acrylic because I don't like the way certain things look in acrylic containers. And so I wanted something that was a little more elevated, but still within reason. Um, so I went with these and they're perfect. They're frosted, so you really can't see through them at all. But I do have some labels that I got by the Home Edit. And I'm gonna just put labels on the front of each of the little storage bins. That way we know what's inside, or mainly me. I know what's inside. But I really think this is gonna work. So I had already picked up three of these. I needed one more. So I got this one, but I have one already down here and I'm just gonna stack it on top of that one. And then I got this open little bin to put on top of this bin to put some stuff in here that I reach for. So I got this to put on top and these are called Bricks Customizable Organizers and this is also in like that frosted clear you know material. So I thought this looked nice together and I'll show you guys once I get everything kind of like put together. This is not going to be anything perfect it's not going to be all aesthetic -y and all that. I really just wanted something that was functional. But, you know, there are fancier ones out there. Trust me, there are some fancy under the sink organization systems that are amazing. But this is the route that I chose and this is what is going to work for me. So, got that. I picked this up to put in that middle part of the sink. Also in that like frosted clear plastic. So I think this is gonna fit down there really nicely and I can also label that as well. So yeah, those are the items that I picked up today. Everything else I had picked up on my last trip to the container store when I picked up the stuff for the linen closet I just didn't show it with you guys because I wanted to save it for today and I think I got everything that I need that's what I picked up from the container store and then from Nordstrom there were only two things that I was going in for and I literally walked out with the two things I went in for so the first item I wanted to try is the new Donna Karen cashmere mist aluminum free deodorant I saw this online and I was like, oh, excuse me? Now, the reviews are mixed, but I am someone who likes to try things for myself. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I personally like aluminum free deodorants. However, they're not all made equally. So people have said that the formula is changed on here, which I would expect it to be if it's aluminum free, but we'll see. So I'm going to give this a try and report back to you guys and let you guys know, or I'll leave it linked below if you want to, you know, risk it all and try it for yourself. <laughs> if you are a Donna Karen cashmere mist deodorant lover like myself and a lot of folks out there, you are probably excited to see that they have a little of them free because it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You're getting a luxurious deodorant, but it's a little free. So we'll see. I'm going to just took it off. I just want to smell it and see what it smells like. How to take this off. It smells the same. Now, it's not 
I don't feel like it's as strong. This is my deodorant. Okay. So here's the original. Also, they did change the packaging. So this is like a smooth, glossy packaging. This is a matte. So that's something that I noticed right off the bat. This has more of like a, like this is really strong. But they smell the same. They smell the same, they look different. I'm sorry, I'm showing you guys my gross deodorant, but we'll try. I'm gonna try it tonight when I shower and I'm gonna try it the rest of the week. I'm just, all I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use anything else. I'm just gonna use that and see how it works but that's pretty exciting and i hope it works because i'm sold if it works and then i picked up the nars laguna bronzing cream heard really good things about this bronzing cream and i wanted to give it a try because i have used the gucci bronzer to death and i personally am a nars girl i love all things nars and the guy at the counter was so nice so helpful his name is oliver um his brows looked amazing his makeup looked really really good but it wasn't like over the top he was so helpful he told me to go with the shade laguna 4 and when i first looked at it i was like oh that's dark he was like mm -mm, let me try it on you he did it and I love it. It looks so good. You guys probably can't see it much on camera because that was earlier this afternoon. It's much later right now. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but I absolutely love it. So here it is. It smells so good. So, I am excited to try this out. I haven't bought any new like makeup stuff in a long time. Um, during the Sephora sale, I pretty much just stuck to skincare stuff. So, this was kind of like a little treat for me. Something that I can try out because I do like bronzers and blushes. So yeah, if you are in the Nordstrom on Michigan Avenue, go see Oliver. He is the best. I got a mess on the floor right now, so I need to pick all this stuff up, get this under the sink organized, and um, then I'll come back and show you guys how it all looks. All right. All right, guys, I am finally done. I had to take a little break to cook dinner, but it is finally done so I'm gonna show you guys all right so I'm gonna start on this side I'm gonna go through this really quick because I don't want to hold you guys the bottom drawer just has all of our dental stuff so I have uh, extra mouthwash here this is my chlorofresh I have um, floss for the kids floss for us have my whitening toothpaste which is almost out and then I just have extra like backups uh, toothpaste so I have my water pick here extra toothbrushes just in case we ever need them and then these are the cases to the travel cases for our uh, toothbrushes so this is just the first aid kit that I have just right there on the side if we ever need it. All right, and in this top drawer, I just have all of my feminine products, tampons. These are thong panty liners because that's all I wear is thongs, uh, TMI. These are regular panty liners that I had um, after giving birth to PJ. I just got some pads back here also from after giving birth to PJ. These are the honey pot. These are the honey pot too, I think, yeah, honey pot. And then I just have one overnight um, like pad underwear back there. I need to get some more of those because I like to sleep in those at night. And that's everything that's in the little feminine drawer. In this little bin, I just have all of my eye stuff. So I have my eyeglasses and then these are my contact lenses. I wear daily contact lenses, so I switch them out every day or 
maybe every other day. It just depends, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but that's what's in this bin. Just put just like extra stuff, um, extra wipes. We've got some alcohol wipes, witch hazel wipes, extra Q-tips, some little rags and stuff, some uh, extra lotion, things like that. So that's pretty much what's in there. And because this isn't something that I reach for often, I'm fine with it being right here in this middle part because it's kind of out of the way. I can still get to whatever I need. Over here, I have my hair drawer. I have all of my claw clips. Dry shampoo by Living Proof. This is uh, by Rado's Mojave Goes Hair Perfume. This is my Necessair Scalp Serum. I love this stuff. So all my scarves, turbans, hair wraps is in here. Brushes, combs, all of my little clips. <laughs> Tons of hair ties and I get the extra, extra large hair ties because I have thick, thick hair. So I can't use the regular ones. I have to use the extra large ones. So these are essential for me. So I have a bunch of those in there. And then just my combs and brushes and stuff like that. This drawer. And then up here, just have some bath stuff. Got some Dr. Bronner's lavender soap. Just regular, regular Dove soap. We love Dove. This is my dry brush. These are exfoliating um, washcloths, just some extra ones that I got. These are Sephora's bath bombs because this bathroom has a tub. The other bathroom is shower only. So he likes to keep his bath bombs in here. So these are some extra ones. I'll show you another drawer where he has some in too. But those are the bath bombs. And then I have these little shower bombs by Sutera and they're really nice. I have them in lavender and I have them in eucalyptus. I use the lavenders more than the eucalyptus ones because I tend to use them at night and I just kind of like to use those when I want to relax. So those are really nice. So I just have those there and that's everything in that one. Also keep in mind guys, whatever you don't see in this bathroom, nine times out of 10, it's in the other bathroom. Um, that bathroom does have a medicine cabinet. So all of our medications, medicines, vitamins, and things like that, we keep in that bathroom. It's kind of like an overflow bathroom, to be honest. That's where we kind of keep like overflow things. This little tray here, I forgot I had this tray and I found it. And I decided to use this for my everyday makeup stuff and stuff that I have not used and I want to use. I typically use my Louis Vuitton um, little travel uh, niece bag for all of my makeup and I do still have some makeup in there but I want it somewhere for all of my like everyday makeup that I could just pull out and put on the counter and use. So in here I just have all of my makeup, makeup brushes that I use, setting spray, sponges, everything is in here. I'm not going to go through it because you guys pretty much know the makeup that I use on a daily, but it's just got my tinted moisturizer. Still loving that. My Gucci bronzer, which I'm probably going to put this away because I got this NARS one, but we'll see. Some lippies. Um, lip balms that I have not touched that I want to use. This one I do use sometimes, but I need to use it more. Concealers, favorite mascara by YSL, my little Gucci mascara. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it again. So yeah, that's everything that's in that little drawer. And then back there, I just have my little Henry Bendel's pouch. I've had that pouch forever. It just has all of my like nail stuff in here, like nail files, nail clippers, stuff like that. You guys remember Henry Bendel? So sad when they closed down, but this is kind of like my little keepsake from them. So I have that in there. And then back there, I just have extra boxes of <laughs> Christian Dior um, cotton squares back there. And you guys probably can see the extra box right there but I actually need to pull this one out because I gotta refill my little um, container just cotton squares in there so I just use that for storage back there and that's it so because I don't tend to do my nails often at all I don't I'm okay with that just being back there like that and then this 
just slides so nice. So I just have one of my <laughs> terry cloth scrunchies. I like to use these when I'm washing my face because it keeps the water from running down my arms. I think PJ <laughs> must have came here and took one, so I'm missing one, but I need to. Uh, so I need to find that. And then this is just my little hair wrap thing. So just command hooks. Over here, I just have another one of those hooks, a little clippy thing. I stole this from PK, to be honest with you. He has tons of these everywhere around the house, so I just took one. And I just have my um, exfoliating gloves hanging here. I like to have these hanging um, as opposed to keeping them in the shower because I noticed that they just keep getting wet every time you take a shower even when you don't use them so this is a new pair that i just got so i'm just gonna start keeping them hung here i did have um my rubber gloves here that i used to clean the bathroom but i took those off i'm just gonna keep these on here right here so whenever i use them i'm just gonna hang them back up on here and then that way they don't keep getting wet in the shower so that is that all right guys and on to the drawers so in this first drawer i have all of my body products these are my necessaire serums i have my necessaire body lotions this is the eucalyptus and then i have just the original i have my fur oil in here i have um uh, what is this so de janeiro a little small body cream in here. These are uh, Jo Malone body creams, wood, sage, and sea salt, and wood, sage, and sea salt. And then I have uh, Osea body butter, which I love. I have my Byredo body lotions. I kind of want to keep these out, but I don't know. And then I have my Osea oil, which I need to get another one of those. Uh, these are my deodorants. Necessaire. Necessaire. Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. And then this is the new one. So these are just up and up brand razors. Nothing fancy. This is my Necessaire neck serum which i need to start back using i stopped using it because i had that packed away and forgot about it so yeah these are all of my body care oh and then this is an extra <laughs> body spray that i got this is the like super big one so that's why it's in here these are all of my body butter body butters this is my go-to body butter in the winter time i love this stuff it's by um, beauty beats love 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 and then i have a little travel osea body oil and then i have a backup i have a backup necessary neck serum back there so that's everything that is in this drawer just you know body care type stuff all right in this little drawer i just have some extra skincare stuff serums eye creams things like that my little tools my j roller facial brush and then this is like a little mask brush my sunscreen my facial cleanser um and then in this bin it's just like septin's little like random stuff um i also have a repair cream in here um First Aid Beauty Repair Cream. This is what I use on Sefton for his dry skin. And then I also use Vaseline on him every morning before he heads out to school. This is his sunscreen by Black Girl Sunscreen for Kids. His deodorant that he had to have, he does not need deodorant right now. And so I picked this one up no aluminum no parabens and no artificial fragrances it's just basically smell good it's as like i said he does not need deodorant and i don't want to activate it so i do know that if you start kids using deodorant antiperspirant deodorant too soon then they will start to need it and so he doesn't use this every day but he likes the idea of having it so 
that's in there. This is his toothpaste, his toothbrush, and toothbrush head. He likes to take his toothbrush apart. So I just got that little container so he can keep it in there because this thing be like on the floor and everywhere else. PJ gets a hold of it and it's a mess. This is his hairbrush. It is beat up, but he loves this hairbrush and refuses to get rid of it. So that's his brush. Um, his mouthwash. This is the Tom's Kids uh, mouthwash. This is his loofah that he likes to use in the shower. And then these are his like little bath bombs in there. That is some of Sefton's stuff. He kind of has stuff scattered everywhere. Um, but for the most part, that's like his, this is like his stuff that he uses, you know, before we head out for school. So that's what's in this drawer. Oh, and my Dior, my Dior eye patches that I have yet to use because they were packed up. So I need to use these like ASAP. Just have those there as a little reminder to myself to use them. And yeah. And up here is just all of like my dental stuff. Um, obviously, I have kids, so their stuff is in here too. Um, I just have extra brush heads for our toothbrushes because we have these electric toothbrushes that you can switch out the heads. So I have extra ones here. These are disposable um, tongue scrapers by Grand. They're really nice, like those. Um, just have toothpaste this is pj's toothbrush and toothpaste uh that i got for him uh he had his first dentist appointment last week so yeah we got him a new toothbrush and toothpaste so i just have that in there because i typically brush his teeth in the morning and so yeah lip mask this is the tasha and the laneige and then I found this in my makeup bag and I was like, let me put that in here with my teeth stuff. So it's the Fenty Beauty Lip Scrub, which I really like. So I have that in there. This is my whitening mouthwash and my whitening strips in there. I'm going to put these. Let see if I can make these work in here. Okay, so I just put those razors in there, so they're out of the way. Now, up here, if you guys remember, I got this tray several years ago from the container store. This was underneath the sink, but I pulled it out so that I can put my skincare stuff on, or, or at least some of it, um, the most used things, like this Tasha moisturizer that I use every day, my clean skin towels that I use every day, this is like part of my little nighttime skincare routine. I put my gentle fluidity out here and I haven't used this in forever. So I wanted to pull that out too. This is the Sunday Riley antioxidant superfood face oil up here. I just have a little pink moment going here. I just thought this was cute. I went through everything and I was like, oh, I have all this pink stuff. So love, love, love this glow recipe. It's so nice. So I have that there. I have my Caudalie Beauty Elixir, another Brazilian Crush <laughs> spray. And then this is a cleansing balm by Burst that's really nice. I just have some Q-tips and this old Mimosa and Cardamom candle container. I love repurposing my candles and um, candle jars and using them for other items. This one is about gone, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put in there. Uh, I have a Bobbi Brown eye cream, Mojave Ghost perfume. This is Blackberry and Bay, Jo Malone. This is another Jo Malone. This is like my newest one, uh, Silk Blossom. Um, that's more like my nighttime perfume that I like to wear at night. This is also a good nighttime perfume too, if you're looking for a good one to wear at night that's light and fresh um and so yeah that's that's the situation over here i do usually have a towel up here but i took it down because it was in a way and i didn't want to start a fire also usually have a plug-in in there too but i took that out too but yeah that's 
that's this situation. All right, and over here, so this is the background that you guys see when I'm filming in here. So I have this little three-tier rack that I've had for several years. I had it in my bedroom in my Cincinnati home, and I used to store all of my like fitness stuff on it. But now it's a great little bathroom rack, which I think is what it was intended for in the first place when I purchased it from Home Goods. I think. I have my scale over there. I just like to have that there because it gets in the way. So what I do is I just basically just pull it out, use it, and then I put it back. Um, on this bottom one, this is just like, you know, personal products, things in there. In here, I just have some matches, if you know, you know. And then in that little Dior box, it just has random samples, extra perfume samples, things like that. But I really like Dior's boxes. Up here, this is my Louis Vuitton little makeup bag that I keep all of like my extra makeup stuff in here sponges brushes Louis Vuitton travel fragrance and stuff like that so I need to organize this too because it's a mess this just has travel essentials um, travel soaps travel lotions travel just stuff so if I ever just need to grab this and go I have it all of my just like basic essentials that I would need for travel that I can just throw in my bag and then up here this is just a Zara home little uh, room spray that I got from TJ Maxx and then I have some of my favorite dossier fragrances Ambery Saffron, Ambery Vitiver. This is a newer one that I want to start using. This little container just has tons and tons of samples that I've just collected. I uh, just have some more like some summery spring fragrances back there. This is uh, Ebony Woods from Zara. Got another Woody Ginger by Dossier. This is Ginger Biscuit by Jo Malone. And then this is uh, Chanel, which I have not used that in forever. So I wanted to put that out too. And so, so yeah, that's what's on this little rack here. And this is the little container that I use for my cotton square. So I'm just going to fill this up and then I'll just leave this out here. I'll move this candle and just move it over there. So I'll have that. All right, guys. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you all in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all found this somewhat helpful. If you live in a small space, it is possible to organize it and make it functional and make things easily accessible for you and your family. I am pleased with how everything has turned out. This was a wreck like not that long ago, more so underneath than the drawers. The drawers have always been kind of organized, but I had to go in there and ditch some things that were old and expired. So everything in there right now is good to go. I need to be using that stuff. So we're not buying any more skincare for a while until I get rid of some of this stuff in here. But other than that, it's pretty simple, you guys. I don't overcomplicate things. I like to keep things really simple and easy for me. I'm excited to kind of put everything to work tonight. It's gonna be the first night that I'm gonna be like operating in here with everything organized. I'm gonna take me a nice hot shower. I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna do some skincare. And it's just gonna be lovely so yeah guys thank you all so 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 much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye